Hey everyone, it's Ben from Saguaro Farm and today we're going to harvest one honey super's worth of honey from our bees. We're gonna use these buckets that we've made. Uh, we made these pretty simply by just ordering a four pack of these honey gates from Amazon and then uh, drilling a hole into these buckets and installing the honey gate. We're gonna use a honey sieve or strainer. Here's our honey frames. These are about half capped, which is good here in the desert and they're all about 90% to 95% full of honey. Uh, we're gonna use a friend's honey harvesting shop today. He's got the honey spinner and we have a few other honey tools which we will show you. So, a couple other honey tools we will use is this uh, honey rake and a honey knife. We are just using a butter knife because we don't have a honey height, a honey knife. So let's get started. So step one, we're gonna take a heat gun and heat up the frames here. Next step is we load the honey frame into the honey spinner. And these spinners usually have to be completely balanced to, to work. So this one holds either two or four frames. And centrifugal force is gonna pull all the honey out of there as we're spinning. So we're gonna load it up with three more honey frames and then start spinning the honey out. So you can also uncap the honey like this. Use the honey comb or rake and drag them along the cappings to uncap those. All right, as you see here, we have mostly wax. There's a little bit of honey in there, but we just leave the wax here with the hope that the honey will drip into the bucket so we can use that for later. We're gonna leave the honey spinning for approximately 30 minutes. All right, we're gonna close it up, spin them out, spin out the honey. Five minutes of this, and we should have a nice honey flow.
right, guys, once you get your honey harvested out of the extractor, you're gonna get a bucket. And it's got all this sediment and stuff on top. That's the wax cappings and a couple things of dirt and stuff that was in the frames along with the honey. And the next step is we're going to strain our honey. So from this, we got about two gallons full from our single honey super. From that, we're going to strain honey through the honey strainer. And then in the bottom there, we're gonna get clean honey out of it. So if we open this cap, this is a honey gate. This is exactly what it's meant for. Open the gate. We're gonna get a nice flow of honey starting to pour out. And we're gonna try to do this in the hottest room that we can get because honey flows better when it's warmer. So it looks like our strainer's filling up. It needs to slow down. So we're gonna close the honey gate and slow down the flow of the honey. And then we're gonna just let this sift until we have a nice bucket of clean honey down there. As soon as your honey goes through the strainer, it'll look nice and gold, like normal honey should look. Then you can begin jarring your honey. We have one quart jars, and I'd estimate we got a gallon and a half to two gallons worth of honey, so we should fill at least six of these jars here. And then we open the honey gate and let the honey flow into the jar. Honey is comprised of approximately 80% sugar and 20% water. To make one pound of honey, a bee must visit 2 million flowers, fly over 55,000 miles, and one pound of honey is the lifetime work of approximately 768 bees. Honey is also the only food in the world which will never go bad, no matter how long you store it, as long as it's not contaminated with something else. So after you're done straining your honey out, uh, you're left with um, just leftover wax, mostly wax and other um, debris that was in the hive. Um, but what we do with this is we give this back to the bees and they reuse it to rebuild their, their wax stores. Some people take this and process this into wax products such as lip balm and things like that. Um, but for us, we're just going to feed this back to the bees and they will happily accept this and use it again. So we're going to take our wax ball and put it in the freezer for a better handling to feed it back to the, back to the bees. So thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and we'll try to answer it. If you liked what you saw, give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we're excited to eat all this honey. Mm -hmm.